you're for the time being keeping his neck quite straight, but that's actually what will give you good bed. Yeah. Not positioning his neck anymore because you don't really need to because you've covered those options. But just having that real sense of that hind leg striking forward directionally, not necessarily to do with energy because lovely is energetic. Really, exactly like that. Trace. That's right. Very good. And I would tend to say that's more useful to you in trot than walk. Yeah. And hopefully in canter later on. But, but, having said that, as you change direction, keep that right position, because then this becomes a little bit of what we were doing yesterday. So that the lateral step really kind of travels through his body. There's a good boy. That's right, that's right, actually no more angle in that, that's right, that's right, that's right, exactly that, into that shoulder fall position, very good. Now take that into a circle, so we could ride in a circle with a little counter position or whatever you want to call it, that's right, now keep the haunches placed inwards where you've had them, and just ever so gingerly stroking his neck up, and flirt with a little inside positioning, so it becomes a sort of haunches fall to the inside. Good boy, that's right. And keep him travelling through. Good, keep him travelling through. Good boy, that's right. And it kind of enables you to hold that position, or for him to hold it, to be honest, a little bit more consistently. That's right. And then segue back to your shoulder fall left, or whatever you want to call it. There's a good boy, that's right. That's right, because you see that's the point, one of the points, one of the many points being, if you do anything to, to overbalance into the outside, you're going to find it really difficult in cancer. So the lateral work is about straightening, well, which we know it is anyway. That's right, that's right. Good point. And you see, I don't see any problem really, Trace, with keeping that more or less all the time, you know, a bit a la arm 